drink some beer. Beer. Oh, guys, it's beer. 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 Um, Thomas Cooper's uh, wheat beer, which I've never done before. But, uh, we're going to give this one a go. I've never had a wheat beer, drank wheat beer before, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a tear sensation. So I'm going to show you what exactly I'm going to use in the kit. So I'll just set the camera up. Here we go. So first of all, no surprise, Thomas Cooper's uh, wheat beer. Um, now the instructions on this one uh, ask you to use um, 500 grams of dry malt extract and 300 grams of dextrose and because I've never had a wheat beer before I'm not sure what it's going to taste like with you know if I put honey in it or something like that so I'm just going to keep it as as is uh, I'm going to add the 500 grams of light mold extract uh, I'm going to use uh, mix that in with cold water first and then we're going to heat the cold water up while that's in because I found that uh, although it still clumps in the water uh, adding a bit of heat to it breaks the clumps up and it's easier to mix and then we've got the uh, the brew the dextrose which uh, obviously this is in a kilogram bag but I'm not going to put a kilogram in I'm going to put uh, the 300 in like it says on the uh, on the tin and uh, we're going to do that now so that's basically the uh, oh, and we'll use the uh, take this off the uh, Cooper's yeast that comes with it. Nothing exciting. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, the Cooper's wheat beer with a spray light malt and 300 grams of brown sugar with dextrose, along with the uh, Cooper's yeast. So let's give it a go. Right, here we go. So this is our Cooper's. Here. We've got uh, warming up in the hot water. Get the boiler. All my stuff has all been sanitised. Had to go and get a new um, hydrometer because I snapped the other one. Died in my arms. Had to go and buy another one. Well, actually, I bought two just in case. <coughs> We've got uh, 500 grams of dextrose. 500 grams of light spear mod and the yeast. So I've got some, just some lukewarm water just to add the, uh, the spear mold to and the uh, some boiling water just to add the, uh, the dextrose to. So first things off is we'll uh, turn the heat off. We'll need that on. Get our sanitizer spoon and uh, add the dextrous. And then stir it until it gets clear. Like so. In the bottom of the pan, nice one. Just have to move that over here. Get the, uh, the warm, blue warm water. I'm going to add the uh, spare mold to. Stirring because this has a tendency to clump. Clump a clump a clump, eh? Add a bit of heat, and as we add the heat, this will uh, sort of declump itself. 
I'm not the TV anyway. So, uh, let's come back in five minutes, see what happens. We'll add a bit of, bit of heat. And we'll see the magic happen. Okay, so I've been there stirring it. And uh, you can see, after a bit of while with the heat, just declumps itself. So, uh, so that's all the spare malt mixed. So what we'll do is we will uh, so this is the water, hot water, with our dextrose in. We'll add the spare light, light malt into there. So that's all mixed up. Give it a good stir. Make sure it's all mixed. Like so. Not the jubbly. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put our um, well we'll open our tin first, and then we'll pour it into the the fermenting vessel, which I have over there. Empty at the minute, all sterilised. So uh, we'll pour the uh, we'll pour the beer in now. Well, the wort from the tin. some boiling water in there to get that out, clean it. Right, so we'll uh, rinse the can in hot water. We'll add that to the uh, remember the vessel. Just like that. You can see that one. Nice and clean. We'll add the uh, mix the textual sand the light to be a mouth in the water and then we'll fill up this up to the uh, 21 litre mark now with uh, cold water right so we'll, uh, we'll add the water Two loads of water. We'll take it up to the 20, 21 litres mark, like we usually do, and uh, check the temperature. Check the uh, check to make sure it's in the right boundaries. Uh, which for this kit is now. Well, as the instructions here. between 21 and 27 degrees Celsius. So we'll go up to about 21. And we'll test the temperature. See what it comes out with. The bubble. Oh. See if I'm going to read that up to show you on camera. Right, so the temperature's about on 27 actually. So we'll add another uh, it's at 21. So we're going to add it up to 23. That'll bring the temperature down a little bit and then add our yeast.
the uh, uh, work that we use. Final spin. Not the yeast. Give it a dub. I always mix mine in rather than keep it on the form. But, uh, people do it different ways. That's how we are doing it. We'll add the lid, lid, the airlock, and then we'll uh, show you in 24 hours if we're going to need bubbles. See if it's bubbling like a bad boy. So that was the Thomas Cooper's uh, wheat beer. Lovely jobly. One of the brews I'm doing up and coming up to Christmas. Happy days. Alright guys, well it's uh, 24 hours later. Temperature 22. It's got a good thick layer of foam on there. As you can see. And it's bubbling like a bad boy. Well, one well. We'll get this bottled next week and get the next brew on. Which for a little uh, inside. It's gonna be a Woodford's Norfolk Nog. I've also got a, no, a Woodford's Wherry. There you go, sneak preview. Oh, that's a double can kit, by the way. So that's our Thomas Cooper's wheat beer, bubbling away, like a bad boy, with a nice thick foam ring, 22 degrees, job's a good one.